Hey guys, uh, this is Icarus. I have an update video for you guys. I've been getting a lot of requests to uh, explain how I'm going to be setting up for uh, the Travis Scotts that are dropping. Um, actually, we have a bunch of drops, um, but I think you can use this kind of techniques for all of them. Uh, most of the information that I'm going to be showing you is, is nothing secret. Uh, you can go out and find it anywhere. Um, I'm going to pretty much be talking about the the recommendations provided by EVIO developers um, in their Discord. So uh, the best thing you want to do is you're going to want to do your research. You're going to identify what sites you you want to hit, and uh, you're going to want to know you know what uh, what key Shopify sites are, are important for you. Um, probably. The, the main one that everybody knows about the Travis Scott uh, sites so this was um, so the CJ1 Travis Scott is what they had and um, this is what you can you can try to hit uh, Travis Scott changes the websites lots of other uh, sites are constantly updating so it's a cat and mouse but um, this is a good thing for you to prep and and just to go over with so what do I do when I look at a Shopify site and I want to and I want to go after it? So there's different ways. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change um, lots of different options. You're going to want to have a mix of tasks. So we're going to call this um, we're going to call this uh, Travis Scott. Uh, I'm going to put legacy legacy um, no force and um, we're going to say keyword. I'm going to call watch. So what this and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select a single task and I'm going to select just a proxy and I'm going to leave this blank. For Shopify, uh, they have updated our site to be Travis Scott CJ1. So we're going to go ahead and select that. I don't have the shipping information. It'd be great if you did. Um, but there you go, CJ1 Travis Scott. And uh, if, you, if you go to the information, so, so you don't need a login. It supports smart checkout, checkout links, and add to carts. I don't have um, any uh, variants yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, keywords. So the cool thing about, um, about Eve is you can actually set multiple keywords. And if any of these hit, it's going to take the first one. So let me go ahead and post some of the keywords. So if you look at the keywords that you can do, so Jordan Retro, Travis Scott, Jordan 1, Travis Scott, Jordan 1, uh, TS, SP, and these are the product numbers from Nike. So you'll see either dash 100 or dash not. So if you put all of these in here, um, those keywords are some recommendations that are being given by a developer. Um, if you have a cook group, I would look at them and see what, what else they're recommending. Um, so we're going to keep kind of the recommendations on. So we're going to say uh, last 25 products on, legacy mode on. So this is tr legacy no force, keep, no force capture. And we're going to select this here. And I'm going to call this watch. So if I select save, now this job that I've set up can be used as a watch task. And that means if any of these keywords hit, I can use it to kick off other jobs. So if I have an add to cart link, I could, I can do this. I can do an add to task, and I'm going to say um, ATC and a size 10, and maybe I select a profile that I want, my proxy list. I'm going to go ahead and pick Travis Scott, and what I can do is I can put a direct link. I could do um PS I'm gonna make this up so don't don't actually use this. Not Travis Scott.com. You can do cart and let's say variant number four or five set so something semicolon one. That creates an add to cart. So you gotta get this from someone um I don't have that. Um and get that from a cook group. And what I can do is I can leave all this information on and I would go to general 
and I would do watch task. And what I would do here is I would go down to my intervals and I'm going to drop this down to like 100 to 300. You can get really aggressive with this. So the idea is um, if I run this and this is running at the default 2000, so 2 seconds to 3.5 seconds, it's going to be polling. The second it sees it, it's going to kick off any other jobs. So if I'm creating a bunch of jobs, I could do this. I could do add to task, uh, Travis Scott, CJ1, non-legacy. They actually tell you to run more non-legacies than legacies. So we're going to turn legacy off. And um, let's say I have a bunch of profiles and I want to, I don't know, maybe I want to run, let's do another add to cart. So we're going to do C yes, ta -da, CJ1 dot Travis uh, Scott dot com. Actually, it's just one S, right? So it's Travis Scott. And uh, we read cart. Uh, put the variant number, semicolon one, which means a quantity of one. And what I could do is I could actually select my testing profiles. So if I select this, which is a, a group of profiles that I've created under the profiles section, and I'll go also to my watch to make sure that I select my watch task, I can actually hit here. This password wait page is up but all these things are waiting for this to trigger. All right, so if I start this, um, all these jobs are going to wait, and when this one goes off, all of these will go, will go with it. So what you can do is you can actually go ahead and have some with non-legacy, some with legacy, some with force captcha, non-force captcha, and you're going to want to mix the way you set things up. Um, you're going to want to set this to a certain... Uh, like let's say you want to use a 3300 millisecond time and you have 30 proxies uh, you can you know you can drop this down to like uh, you can safely drop this down to 200 300 milliseconds and just like this 200 to 350 and now this is going to be constantly pulling my site over and over and over and these don't go but as soon as this thing finds something all these are going to take off and run um, oh, you're also you're going to want to make sure your, your captures um, have several. If you're running a lot of tasks, and they all can hit at the same time. You're going to want to run a lot of these. Um, let's see. I guess that's pretty much it. It's uh, pretty short and sweet. Um, there's really not much to it. Uh, things you need to figure out. You're going to want to find the, if you can use an add to cart link. That seems to be the fastest. I have heard that Shopify is catching up to add to cart links, so you're going to want to run keywords also. So, you know, I may actually, you know, duplicate this task. And uh, so I can dupe this task. I'm going to go to edit it, remove the watch, because it's not going to be a watch task. I'm going to select watch, and I'm going to run the same keywords, and I'm going to, you know, care. I don't care if it's a random size, grab me anything you want. And I can drop this to 100 to 300 and get really aggressive. Um, one thing that I've seen is uh, make sure you put payment resubmissions up to 6. What will happen is if uh, this page gets slammed right away and the payment process is failing, not because of you, this will keep going and kind of cycle through and the maxes you can do is 6. So they recommend leaving this at six. Um, capture request is prioritization. If you want to, you can leave it. You can change that. Just leave that at zero for me. And that's what I'm going to do. Um, you can always test keywords and see if anything comes up. It's a password page up. It's not coming up for anything. Um, but you're going to set a bunch of these. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this helped. Um, Oh, look at this. This one didn't go. Oh, because I forgot to do watch task. Save and start. So there it goes. So now it's going to sit there and wait for the watch task. These haven't gotten up. So what you'll see is 
it tried to get the token, but it realized that the password page is up, so it's just sitting. This, let's go to the log. This didn't seem... This is a password page up, but it's still cycling through stuff. Until I gave it the... Uh, the swatch task, so... Anyways, uh, what else can you do? Let's talk about... I'm just trying to think. We could, you could create a, another task and not run watch task. All right. And, um, sorry, let's, let's dupe this task. Dupe this task. We're going to edit this. We'll remove from here. Let's see. You can make sure the watch task is off. And if you know a site's going to happen, like let's say you're going to do, you're going to run against, uh, I don't know, I don't know if case is dropping online, um, you can do like a prepare session. And what that'll do is, actually, let's go ahead and change that to Kith. So we'll do Kith and save that. And we're going to prepare a session. So the edit doesn't always work. So we're going to do is we're going to stop this, duplicate it, edit Kith, uh, keywords. Um, there we go, duplicate. And we're going to prepare a session here. Um, what it'll do is it will go ahead and generate your bypass for you um, up front. So if you don't have a bypass link, this is the way you can get one easily and you leave this as ready and then right before the drop happens you go ahead and hit start and it'll go and it'll try to run so that's a that's something you're always going to want to do if you're not running watch tasks or you're scheduling items that's another way to do things um, let's talk about scheduling so if you go to settings and you turn on Shopify smart schedule you can enable that what I like to do is I like to run a job well before um, well before password page comes up and then I can start it three to ten seconds before like something like that and uh, we'll leave that and then if I was to let's duplicate this task and schedule this task um, let's say we make this at um, 12 o'clock I'm going to tent Kith tends to drop at 10, but we'll say 12 o'clock, schedule it. There's a scheduled job. Oh, it's actually set. I forgot to change the date. So let's stop this. Uh, let's schedule start. Um, 5.09. You want to do the next day. So I'm going to say 12. So this will be 12 tomorrow. Oh, whatever. 12.57. And hit schedule. It will it will start running now so it's only 957 so around uh, 180 minutes before what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and actually prepare a session and then run so it'll do the prepare session for you 180 minutes before and then 10 seconds before it'll kick it off for you that's another option all right um i was just rambling just some stuff off the top of my head i hope this helps uh good luck uh on the travis scott drop and let me know if you want to see anything else all right thanks guys